Uh oh. We seem to have a package. Ta-da! Come on. Let's see what we got. Okay. We got the RAM. Yay. We got the good old processor. Yay. Got DVD drive. Okay. And the motherboard. Um, this is my first time using this motherboard, but we had to keep the price under $300. I've never used an Azeroth motherboard before, so it was it was the cheapest one, but also had uh, pretty good reviews, concerning how cheap it was. Um, better than the MSI variant. This is what we do. You know, I don't know how nice. Hold oh. I'm a man, I don't need a knife. Ugh. Ah, oh, and there's the SSD. Okay, I was worried about that. And a wine voucher. Here, if you want it, you can have it. Whatever. Um, so, we are missing the case. So I'm guessing the case will come in another package, hopefully, soon. Um, so, got some G-Skill Ripjaw memory. Um... Interesting, I thought I got a single 4 gig stick. So we can upgrade to 8 later. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. They're not really gonna notice it. We got a Corsair Force LS, I think. 120 gig, it's refurbished. Um, so we got it really cheap, like 60 bucks or something like that. It still should be good. Yeah. Processor, like this guy. And now this is some intense packaging on this guy. That's ridiculous. Oh, cool. It's got like a hoodie. That's really cool, actually. So I can actually use this package for something else if I wanted to. This is really difficult. Ugh. Look at that. Get its, its shape. I think I will store these. Can I just this fit in there? Yes. Put that in there. I'm not really going to be putting this together until the case comes in, but I just wanted to kind of pull it out and look at it. But the case should be here. Today, it should have came at the same time as this. I don't really know why it didn't. Let's have a quick look at the motherboard. As you can tell, um, did go... Oh, good thing to uh, Mini ITX again. Um, we were looking at making it as small as we could, but keeping it under a three hundred dollar budget. I hit three hundred and ten dollars, so like whatever. Um, this motherboard should do okay. It's only got two USB three ports on it. One was only like 50, I think it's fifty six dollars for this motherboard. Um, it should get the job done. There's no built in Wi Fi or anything like that. They don't need it. Uh, we got a bunch of powerline adapters. Um, this computer is going to be for my sisters, so that's why it doesn't need to be doing any gaming or anything like that. They're just going to be YouTube, Netflix, uh, DVDs, um, and homework. That's all they're going to be doing on it. There's going to be zero gaming, 
and uh, I use for for kids' computers. I, use, I actually use a program to make sure that they're not going to do anything bad. The program is called uh, Canine Canine Web Protection, and um, you can do whatever you want with it. Basically, you can block out websites. You can block every website and allow only certain websites. And you can just even just completely block out all of the internet access after a certain time, so like they can't get on an app when it's bedtime, so they're not staying up when not supposed to be. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The little program I use it on my other sister's computer downstairs that uh, used to be over there. But all right, you'll see me again when I get the case. It's here. Um. <laughs> I don't think it's actually called the Le Cube. I may be wrong. But that seems wrong. <laughs> but it's the case. Um, wow. Zero information. <laughs> I don't remember the model. Um, it is a rose with a of course mini ITX. Get my knife. Okay. Here we have it. I don't trust this. Nope. There we go. Actually, smaller than I thought. Get us out of the way. It's like this. Yeah, it's actually it's actually smaller than I thought. It's a little bit bigger than that one over there, but it's not a ton bigger. It's actually not even. It's not quite as wide. It's just taller. Doing well at this. Come on. There we go. Mm. That's nice. Mm. Okay. That needs to come apart. Oh, I hate it when it doesn't have thumb screws. Really bulky and really heavy, so it's not very easy to get out these little tiny screws with it. With one hand, if I had two hands, it'd be no problem. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Here we are. Cords. Here are the feet. I'll probably reuse this for cable management. I'll probably see the leader right there. Don't know what that little plastic piece is. Cool. There it is. Hmm. I think that bottom one even opens. Nope. Just pops out. 
<clears throat> okay, cool. Well, let's get to building. There. Probably one of the last things I'll put in. camera going everywhere. I know it's kind of annoying. All right. So, um, first thing we are going to do is we are going to install the processor. So, when you get that open, me. Me. Really hard to do with one hand. Okay, first piece we get with the processor. There's the cooler. All that is useless, so I can toss it in the box down there. That looks good. Pull the processor out. Oof, I don't like doing that. Try not to do what I just did. I'm sure there's a much better way of doing that. Okay, so for installing a Socket 1150 processor, uh, this works with all Socket 1150. All you gotta do, pull down this little clip, push it up. Don't even worry about what's on the on the, the door there. And pull this out. Um, now they say to look for. Um, that little arrow in the corner right there. Kind of boring, sorry. But it doesn't actually, like, once you've already opened it, it's, it's kind of hard to find. Um, so, what I do is I just look at the notches on the side, like that little notch, that little notch. And it lines up those little notches right there notch and just drop it in give it the teeny tiny wiggle try not to touch the top middle part then this comes back down just pull this down and if you're gonna have to use a lot of force then this will pop out it's usually supposed to pop out easier but that's okay it all work now the cooler this is the stock cooler can upgrade this for like 30 bucks and get a significantly better cooler. Um, and there is the CPU fan header. So I will orient it with the cord sticking that direction. So all I gotta do is drop it down one of the holes and poke it in and twist. I don't know which direction. This way. Twist it to the left. It has little arrows. And I can pull this down and put it right there. And ta-da! Is that touching? No. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. It's gonna be pretty loose, I think. Mm, nope. It's not gonna be loose. You don't want it to be loose. Interesting. I guess I didn't clip it down enough. So you gotta put more force down than I did. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I think like this. Yeah. Like 
clip it down, lock it in. There we go. That's much better. That'll do it. Okay. Now I can get rid of all this. Put it down in the box. All right. Um, next part we're going to do is the ram. We have three up jar ram. there. Okay, RAM is actually super easy to put in. It's probably arguably one of the easiest things to put in. Um, all you gotta do is just line up that notch with that notch down there. Uh, make sure all these are pulled out. Line up the notch. And it only goes in one way, so if you, if you do this and it's not feeling like it's going in, flip it around. You just gotta push a corner in, push the other corner in, and it'll lock in itself. It's in there. It's the same thing with second stick. If you have a second stick, I intend to only have one stick, but whatever. It's fine. Okay. Our RAM is in, our processor is in. That will do it for assembling the parts on the motherboard. Now, we're going to. Good thing in the case. Actually, that was a lot of it out of the way right there. Um, I feel like... Oh, this. How is this going to happen? Okay. So the first thing that you do when you're doing this, first of all, don't lose your back plate. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Okay, that plates out. Um, now when you orient this, put it in, uh, what you're looking for is the sound points, these little round ones. Um, they always go on, so if I'm looking at it from the back, they're always like on the right side. So, just slide it in there. You have to do it from the inside so it's going to work. You just push in, it'll snap in. This is really difficult to do in this case because the power supply leaves you no room to do it. Ugh. Okay. It's not super, it doesn't really lock in. Because um, it just uses the, the motherboard to, to hold it in. Okay, and I'm thinking that the only way... Let's get this foamy thing off. The only... Oh, I forgot a thing. Um, screw this right here. Pretty important. <laughs> Oh, maybe I didn't. Yeah, I did not. Okay, we are good. Um, Doesn't say. So, um, I'm pretty sure that it's these little, uh, don't want to lose any of these. <laughs> these little lipped screws, they have a little lip on the head. This guy right here. 
get it to focus. And you can tell it's got a little, little lip on it. The rest of them, um, most of them don't. So I'm pretty sure these are the ones that go in here. I can just finger tighten. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. And I will gather four of those. With mini eye attacks, uh, there are only four screws. With micro, there are six. And with full size ATX, there are. These include so many different types of screws. That, and they all seem to be like pretty much the same size. It's hard to tell which ones are the right ones to put on the motherboard. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this case is gonna require me to slide this guy in this way. Yep. Try to do this without damaging anything. Wow. That is. <laughs> that is a quick squeeze. So, actually, we're gonna have to take the RAM out. Just gotta push these clips back down and we just pull right out. Um, God, it's such a tight squeeze. Yeah, it's barely getting in there without the rim. That's nuts. Let's see, it's all gonna line up back here. What is in the way? Wow! Can't believe the stock. Pushing up against it. That is a tight fit. Wow! I almost feel like I should plug it in right now before I screw it down. That's probably a good idea. I'm gonna plug everything in right now. It's because it's such a tight squeeze when I get the rim, I wanna be able to maneuver it um, out if I need to. Where is USB 2? Audio. On the audio. There. Um, differentiating the right ports for all these is pretty easy. You can see there's a little blocked out hole for the HD audio. Probably you can actually you can cut off the AC97. It's actually completely useless because nothing uses AC97 anymore. It's really, really old. It's like 1990s old. Um, so anyway. HD audio has got a little blocked out port. It only fits into one of these little pin spots. Um, it does mark it on the motherboard. It should say like HD audio on it. Ugh, just plug that in there. Good to go on that. And then this should be not the reset panel, and I believe that one. So it's not the port to plug it into. So this one right here, right next to the other panel. <laughs> it was hiding from me. The CPU pin. It's just a four square block. Um, it plugs in right. Let's see. There. It's hard to see. There it is. That little block right there. 
I can see the clip goes. Direction. Now this case is super hard to work in. Really making me assemble it outside of the case. I've never had to assemble something like this before I plug it in, or I plug it in before I, I screw it down. I've never had to do that before. That's really weird. Okay. Um, front panel should be connect easily connectable. Um, side of the, okay. That should be all that we have to plug in now. Look at that magic. Power Spy came out. So, now I can do this normally. I don't know why I didn't think about taking it out. Um, and that computer over there, it didn't come out. Um, it was also placed in a different spot. So that might be why. So now I can do the rest of this piece. This would be a lot easier to do if I wasn't holding this phone right now. Uh, stuck. Okay. How to close this knife up. Fingers. Okay. Try this again. You know what? The next portion is just screwing in the screws in the four corners. I'll be right back. Alright. We're all screwed in. That wasn't that easy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put the RAM back in. Okay. Now looking at this case. I don't really see any mounting points for the SSD. And I find that really, really weird. Um, it's possible that there just is no mounting point. And they want you to just kind of let it hang, which is fine, because an SSD, it's fine to hang it. Because. It fits in sideways right there, but that's gonna have to connect it. So, I mean, it's, it's not gonna fit. So, pretty sure it's just supposed to just kind of hang down there since there's so much room there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they, they, want you, uh, they want you to do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up those SATA cables, um, which plug in right there. And then plug in to that guy down there and then have one to the guy up there. So go ahead and do that. Okay. So I decided to have I have two side of cables here. 
One came uh, straight in, and one came with a uh, angled end. I'm gonna go ahead and put the straight in on the SSD because it's gonna be laying on the floor of the case, and it's gonna be on the DVD drive right here. So you have that angle. Um, so this next part is going to be the front panel connectors, or uh, specifically the hard drive LED reset. Power, the LED stuff. Um, you can consult your um, they probably just get out there. This would be your motherboard manual that you want to look at to figure out where these connectors go. Now the reset switch and the reset switch and the power switch are reversible, so you don't have to worry about putting them in the right positive and negative. But you do have to put them in the right section. So you need to find it. Jumpers, front panel, USB, SATA. Ah, here it is. So, you can see. Focus. There you go. You can see um, reset. Sideways, I think. Yeah. Well, they want. So, power. And reset right there. So I'm going to find the power, which is these two. So it's the reset one first, and then the power button. So I'll arrange them reset, and then power. Back there. And I'll just come down here. And ever so carefully and very difficultly plug them in. Like I said, these can go reversible, doesn't matter because it's just a switch. Dang it. This can be kind of finicky sometimes. So you gotta get kind of the right angle on it. Like that. And then go back to the manual. Yeah, I'll read in there. Okay. Um, so, hard drive. So, P, LED goes in the back portion, hard drive goes in the front, with both positives facing me. I believe the positive, positive, hard drive in front, hard drive in front. So I will put in this guy first. Where did my light go? There it is. Okay, I will put in the negative PLED first, and then the positive PLED, then same thing. I'll come over here with the hard drive LED. Push it down. There we go. Front panel connectors are now all plugged in. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, plug in all of, I'm gonna plug in the uh, 24 pin connector, which is super simple. It's just right there, that big old block right there. Push it down till it snaps. In. Snaps in. Don't want to snap when, how it breaks. Just in case somebody was gonna misconstrue that. I'm sure it's possible somebody's gonna misconstrue that. 
I'm just about done here. Um, I'm gonna take these two SATA connectors. Um, just for my preference, I'm gonna stick this SATA connector on the, on the hard drive, and this one, this little Y one, up to the DV drive. That is the word I'm looking for. Um, you know what, I can actually, I'm gonna put the power supply back in now. We're ready for that, so I'll be right back. All right, power supply's back in. Um, the cords are just everywhere. Pull this guy out. Battery notifications. <laughs> it's getting kinda low, that's fine. And he's gotta match the little notch. Come on. Okay, you'll see it when you look. There's a little notch inside the area. You can kind of see it like that. Match it up to the notch that's on the SSD, which is super easy. It's literally like Legos. Then, just gonna jam it down in there. Make sure I still have access to this. Actually, what I'm going to do right now, because this is actually going to lay on top of the cords, I decided. The extra cords that are going down there. So, I'm going to get that portion out of the way first. And I'm going to use this little twist tie that came in the bag. Let's just dump the rest of this out. Uh, if you're wondering what this guy is, it's really not necessary. It's just a uh, a beep speaker. Twist tie. Right. So I'm just gonna twist tie this a little bundle of cords together, get them out of the way, and secure them down. All right. I have them down there. So now I slide this guy down there. It's probably going to be fine just like that, just so we can have access to that SATA cord, power cord coming up. Then pack the data, set of data down. And okay. That does that. Now comes the DVD drive, so I'm going to Get this stuff out of the way over here. And this is the last thing. I don't. I've never seen that before. A DVD. Hmm. A DVD uh, <laughs> for the DVD drive installation. <laughs> this is pretty weird. Okay. Let's just slide it in like this. Ah, uh, yeah, just slide it down. It'll go forward. There, the hole, the screw holes are right there. So, let's go grab some screws. Work. I, think I will start it off. Things are tight, so I can do this with one hand. It's really difficult. I'd be able to do it. Oh, it's really hard. Okay. I'll be right back. Alright. DB drive is secured in. 
Now all we gotta do is just plug in the power and data. Which is gonna be really difficult. I should have done that first. Okay, as a tight squeeze. Tight, tight squeeze. Ugh. I am more interested in this than my arm. Ugh. Okay, cool, that's it. This computer is assembled. Now I'm just going to put it back together. the rest off here. Now that I have assembled it, I think I figured out what these are for. <laughs> I think these mount to the side of the SSD and then slide into that little front portion. Oh well, it's not going to hurt anything. Alright, last part of this is the four little feet. It came with this case. Your case may or not, may not come with feet that you put on yourself. This one did. See, you can put it on its side or put it on the bottom like this. You can kind of choose how you want to orient this case. But we're going to go ahead and orient it like this. Okay. This case 100% done. This computer, I should say. And, uh, I'm gonna install Windows. Cool. See you guys later.